Welcome back guys to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial and in this video we are going to replicate our build mode. So let's begin. The first thing what I want to do is go to my build mode folder and open up all of my buildables. So let's go. And in here what we need to do is we need to select our self, we need to replicate it. And if this is a movable object, then we also want to replicate movement for the window. I'm not going to do that. And I'm also going to replicate the wall. And for the wall also, we need to replicate the static mesh component. So component replication, because this model is changing depending on the wall type that we are building. And same goes for the furniture replicate itself and replicate the static mesh component as well. And for the door, I'm going to replicate itself, replicate the movement as well. And I'm going to replicate the component itself as well, because this is going to rotate. So the next thing what we need to do is go to our third person character and let's edit, edit the build mode. So right now we are right clicking and the, we are doing this build something function and we need to change this a little bit. So I'm going to add a new function and I'm going to call this finish building and from this build something function, I'm going to copy pretty much the whole function. So I'm going to begin by copying this first part where we have this uh, branch check and we are removing the item like so. I'm going to leave this spawn actor in this function. And by holding control, I'm also going to copy this bottom part as well, leaving everything from the switch. So I will press control X to cut this out. I'm going to go to my finish building function, place this in here and connect this like so. And right now I'm going to compile and save this back in my build something. I will do a if branch check just like we had before. Move this closer, like so. And I'm going to check if the build ID is equal to 9,999. There we go. Compile and save. And now in the event graph, I'm going to add a new custom event and I'm going to call this server build something. And this event is going to have a couple of inputs. The first one is going to be a build ID, which is going to have an integer type. The next one is going to be a build transform, which is going to have a transform type. And the last one is going to be a buildable item, which is going to have an S inventory structure type. And this event needs to be ran on server. So here select run on server. I'm going to compile and save for now. I'm just going to leave it here. And what we can do now is here on the left mouse button click, we can delete this build something and we can replace this with finish building like so. Now I will go to, yeah, I'm going to open this finish building and from here we can run our server build something event and we need to add our variables. So we need a build ID, 
we need a build transform and we also need our buildable item info there we go and I'm just gonna copy this and I'm gonna place this at the bottom one where we are building the structures this is for the item building and this is for the structure building so connect this to true there we go and at the end I'm gonna do a stop build mode and I will do this for the false as well so stop build mode and at the bottom as well so stop build mode and I will connect all of my falses as well so that in, if in any case we are failing to do something if we don't have enough resources or something like that then we are stopping our build mode there we go compile and save now we could go to our build something function build something there we go and we need a couple of inputs here as well again three of them the first one is our build ID integer type build transform transform type and our buildable item as inventory type and so that I don't have to connect very long pins I'm going to create something that's called a local variable so drag from your pins and promote to local variable and I'm gonna call this local build ID and basically what this does it creates a variable only inside of this function and this variable is not going to work outside of it and yeah that's pretty much all that we need so that it would work inside of here so now we need a local build transform and a local buildable item there we go connect all of these in the line so that we would create them and connect this to a branch check what we can do now is replace a lot of our regular variables with the local variables because this function is going to run on our server and we don't need variables from our server we need the variables that we pass through so I'm gonna change this build ID to local build ID let's start with the top here we have build transform and buildable item info replace these with the local ones like so and here on the switch we also need a local build ID and this build transform needs to be a local build transform and connect all of the spawn transform pins there we go and also what we can change is these two build IDs to local build IDs there we go that's good so now we can go back to the event graph and where we created this custom event we need to run our build something and we need to connect build ID build transform and buildable item so now let's see this put the floor wall uh, let's build another floor window window door stone blouse and there we go awesome now we have this issue that we are opening in the client side the door but we can't walk through this because on the server side this door is still closed and we can only open this from the server side so let's fix the door to fix the door we need to go to our buildable door and we need to do some adjustments over here and what we need to do over here is we need to do a has authority switch 
And if the client has authority, then it can open the door. But if it's a remote, like a client, and it doesn't have the server authority, then we need to cast to third person character. We need to get player character with the player index zero. And now we need to create an event which is going to open the door for us. So we need to go to the third person character event graph where we have our open door. And I'm just going to copy this open something. And I'm going to do a custom event, which is going to be a open door. And I will run this on the server. Connect this like so. And I'm going to connect the target to this event so that it would automatically create a pin. And now back in our buildable door, I will run this open door. And for this target, I'm going to use self so that we would know that this is this door that we need to open up. So there we go. And one more thing that we need to do is we have these open closed door events in our buildable door and we need to run these on server. There we go. Compile and save. Let's build a door. So we have a door and now we can open this on our client side and we can also open this on our server side. Great. So that's going to be it for our build tutorials. And uh, in the next video, we are going to replicate the animations and also we are going to replicate the clothing system so that we would see the equipment on other characters, not only just ourselves. So see you guys in the next video.